Down for the weekend in Vegas with my daughter for her soccer tournament. And it just so happened that my bike snuck into the car. All right, well, I'm here in Las Vegas and so excited I get to go mountain biking, so. I'm just amazed at how pretty everything is. Maybe I should have brought my road bike too. All right, well, I'm at uh, Blue Diamond. I'm gonna do the loop out here and um, just check stuff out. I've never been out here. I'm really excited to be riding in Las Vegas. Blue Diamond is the coolest little place. I almost drove right past it. In fact, where Google told me to park was right at the parking lot of the bike shop, which is kind of in the center of this little town. And I had no idea it was even a bike shop until I had done the full loop and come back around. And then I realized that there was a shop right there. It's a pretty cool little place. All right, well, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but this looks good. Thank you, you too. Start off there is a climb and it has some tech in it. And actually, I really enjoyed it. It's hard, it's fun. You gotta work hard to get up over these rocks and it was a, definitely a good little challenge to start things off. How you doing? The next interesting thing that you'll see here is the peace sign and the heart, which I totally missed the first time I came out here. And in fact, uh, so the second time I came out, I saw the peace sign and I wanted to get a shot of it, but I still hadn't seen the heart. I hadn't seen the heart until I got home and looked at this footage. The hill that you see to the right is the main landmark that sits behind the town. I'm taking the clockwise loop around this hill. I think that it is the more common route. Once behind the hill, there are branches that split off the loop to get into more interesting terrain. The main loop is called Landmine Loop. Hello. Thanks. I broke off Landmine Loop to do this hill as it looked challenging. It was awesome. You can see there are some technical aspects to this hill as well. More difficult than the beginning of the loop. It's not a big hill, just a good quick challenge. Oh. See the sign to the right for the hurl, which I'll show you in my next video. As I pass all these signs, I'm realizing that this is a trail system that deserves another Vegas trip, one dedicated to just exploring all the amazing trails out here. For example, as I wander along, I pop off and on to Rubber Ducky, which I didn't know at the time, but later turns out that this trail contains a giant cactus that people have attached Rubber Ducky toys to. The pictures I saw reminded me of the bra tree at Snowbird. Landmine loop, stand on that. Wow, my bike sounds so bad. I thought it was the bolt that broke. Must be some other little component. I worry it's something about my shock. Turns out I was right about the shock. My rear shock is completely blown and I need a new pivot bearing kit as well.
Yeah, sweet. I like that. Cactus slalom. Okay, slaloms are cool. Wow, it's just gorgeous out here. Ducky to the right. Ducky to the left. Rubber ducky. Okay. Maybe that luge thing. Yeah. Maybe that luge thing is supposed to go the other way. I don't know. Rubber ducky left connect to Mustang, right? Hey, why not? We'll connect to Mustang. Ooh. Ah, took a step. Okay. Let's check trail forks. See where we are. Wow. That's pretty. Trying to figure out where I am. It's hard to tell, but that's gonna lead me away. So if I started here and i'm coming around here i think i'm gonna go up that one keep going up that i think that that's gonna cut to the right in just a minute yeah i really need to get some of those e-tip gloves everyone else is talking about the dirt is nice from the rain that's for sure
One of the things I absolutely loved about this bull ride is how you can track along this trail going really fast. It's cross country, but there is a lot of slight downhill with some serious pedaling. You can have a lot of speed and it is so much fun. <laughs> Ooh. Nice little tech there. See, we've gone full circle around this big hill, and it's going to lead us right back to town. Uh-oh, wrong gear, fight up it, yeah, there we go. Hello. That was fun. Back of the city. And look at that. Once I realized that this was a bike shop, I decided to go in and talk to the guy about my bike and the sound it was making, and he did confirm to me that it probably was the pivots and the shock, so. Unfortunately, those are repairs that I am having made right now, and uh, it's pretty expensive, but biking is worth it, right? And I just love to get out there and find new trails like this. Some of the Blue Diamond Loop hit some of those trails in there, and maybe I'll get to come back out and check uh, some of the harder stuff that looks like it goes over the mountain in the middle, I think. I think that's what it does. But anyway, super fun day today. Thanks for watching, and if you like learning more about new trails, please click the subscribe button. And if you like this, please feel free to click the share button and share it with others. That's what helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching.